Hey, hey. I'm back for day two. Brand new location. I'm not used to fishing on Teleco Lake, so we'll see. Hey, Mr. Rogers. What's up, Mid South? Well, I'm hoping. Hey, fellow and ghost, what's up? Welcome in. So I've actually got a little piece of uh, white bass out there. Hey, 50 cent. What's up? Thank you for coming in. So I've got corn, night crawler, and I've got a little piece of the uh, white bass out there too because, you know, I just can't not. You beat Sampy pictures, you're only going for the day. Well, mission accomplished. To be fair, though, I didn't give him a whole lot of warning. <laughs> I did say I was going to pop up, though. Today, I was actually going to nap. I came home and I was like tired. Then somebody started mowing outside and I was like, well, I guess I'll get up and go fishing. It's a pretty place down here. I've never been to this park. I don't think it's very old. There is a a little area that I've seen that's across from the library in this little town. But it's pretty here. Somebody is parked on the boat ramp with their trailer in the water. Is that not rude? I outed them on YouTube. Hey, Gigability. We're watching, listening, frying some fish. Hey. Well, thank you. So hopefully don't we don't work Saturday because we'll be extra tired this week. <laughs> You're not working, King. That's a treat. I think I saw you say something about the conditions being crappy. Yeah, it's been a minute since I saw you, Fitty. Yeah, you're talking about if you're talking about working for sure. I 
I thought he was going to get in my line for sure. You're always on. Hey, Bud Files. Welcome in. I guess that's what people do here. Now I'm both sides of the boat ramp are blocked. Wow. If anybody else wanted to come down here and put in, they would be able to. <laughs> It's a double ramp and they people left trucks parked on both sides. I need to get a four day a week job. If I quit fishing, I could apply for this one place that does every other fr Friday and Four tens. That's what I need to do. It's Yamaha. I could go make boats. I thought I'd come check his place out. I don't know if it would be a good place. I'll come back. But everywhere I'm fishing down here, even though it's close to me, I know you work very hard, Cindy. What do you do if I don't make? I, sure. I work for a company that makes uh, seats. It's called Adiant. They make car seats for uh, VW Atlases. Hey, Troy. Yeah, so I work on an assembly line. Putting small parts on seats. I do mouse stuff. You would know me itself. <laughs> because you do too. I guess he was just testing it out. But yeah. That's a rough start at the ramp. So those days uh -uh. he just called something right there after that boat pulled in. Well that's a big bass. Look at here. Look at these bass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just a guy fishing down here at the boat ramp. I knew that wasn't the last thing you were going to say, Mid South. Let's call you Time X. Make a lot of loose and keep on to <laughs> Well, I was trying to insult you, but yeah, that was a nice bass. Hey, Fresno. Everywhere I go, Mid-South, everywhere I go. A big old wake boat. But yeah, he, he threw out right in next to that boat and caught that bass.
It is. Like this. This is a, I think this is a relatively, relatively new part. I brought a rooster tail down here. I wonder if I could catch anything on my rooster tail. bit me <laughs> no this guy's not one of those guys continues new boyfriend stay up right in the cake <laughs> yeah this is a relative i think it's a relatively new park the part i remember is on down a little bit but it's teleco lake and i haven't fished it much it's a big lake travis don't like it so we don't come here but it is close <laughs> my stomach sounds terrible hey greg burgess <laughs> pardon me mid-south <laughs> This is close to the house. It's like 10 minutes from where I live. It took me longer to get down here and figure out where I was going to fish and get set up than it probably did for me to drive down here. So. Mid-South said, Troy, are you making fun of my tiny manhoods? <laughs> it does sound bad. Autocat says Telco is 22,500 acres. It, it's a big lake. Travis doesn't like it for catfishing. And Lonnie and uh, Mark come down here and fish, and they say you can get quality fish out of here, but it's a real slow bite. You have to wait forever. But hey, we've been catching much where we are. What's up, Otter Cat? Has everybody here subbed Otter Cat? I don't think either of them got their boats trailered right. If there's a ton of boat factories, you are a sub daughter cat. That's great. He needs all the subs he can get for all his content. So I'm about to bust 16,000. And uh, I got another package in the mail today for the giveaway. So we ought to have some pretty good prizes. <laughs> we are behind you all the way, daughter cat. We support you fully. Oh, he's messing with his prop. You're going to be Otter Cat's first view. <laughs> I have another rod here I could hook up and throw out for catfishing. It's this ramp river. I don't know, though. I only got it to about 8 30. I'm going to stay until dark, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming in. Today, I actually brought the rod holder down here and used it rather than trying to find some pork and sticks. Hey, 
Michelle Mason. What's going on? How's Grumpy? Somehow the not figure this boat ramp was going to be this busy. There's nobody in the parking lot. Pork and sticks. <laughs> Gig ability, that's what they are. Pork, pork sticks. I got that fork and thing from my grandmother. That's what she called them. Fork and sticks. If I go, just go find your fork and stick and stick it down the ground. Fork stick. Hey, David Hughes. Welcome in. Not really sure why I call everybody by their first and last name, but <laughs> Travis went and got on the boat with some friends. So he won't be uh doing the double feature today, I don't think. <laughs> if he got on something big, he might pop up here from the boat. He's still at work. We're still on 10 hours. I'm hoping that it don't get worse as the summer wears on. I really need to apply at Yamaha and get out of there. Hey, hey, that's too far. I'm going fishing with friends and you can't come, Travis. Well, Travis is not a team player. Well, see, I have to, to do this thing called work. And I have to get up at 4.40 in the morning. And there's just no way. Although the guy that he's, the guy that's boat he's going out on, he, he owns his own tire shop. He's going to have to get up early too. Go to work. Hey, Mike Young. Another one who he is just running right over my lines. Me. Troy said, can I go fish with you mid south? <laughs> Are you really going to go fishing mid south?
I was working on the boats and boat trailers and stuff. Hey, bass fishing, Paul. What's up? I actually would go fishing with Mid South if, if we lived in the area. I'd like to see Mid, Mid South go fishing. I think I've seen him once. You need to go fishing, Mitty. I appreciate you coming in, Paul. Did you say you were going to be fishing Saturday? Tomorrow, I think we're going to the culvert. Mid-South, the one, you know, where I like to go flathead fishing, Friday flathead fishing. That's where we're going to be tomorrow. Just went fishing last weekend. Yeah, you went ocean fishing, didn't you? Friday and Saturday, but live on Saturday. All right. Oh, they don't want anything to do with my rooster tail. Are you guys blind? Is that blinding you? You serve fish, Padre Allen. That's cool. Man, I'd like to go to the ocean again. It's been a few years. A lot of years, as a matter of fact. Oh. If I come fishing Thursday, I'll have my big my anvil rods with me. I'm getting them. I'm gonna check these rods here in a minute. It was a great weekend. You camped out there two nights. That's awesome. Still looks the same. I thought I might have been. Putting the sun in your face. In your eyes. You know, I'm pretty sure John Parker's right. I can't fish worth a lick. But I'm not sure about these areas. I mean, it's water. I've got a place I know for sure I can catch a fish, but I don't have signal there. It's way back. I'm not sure I could go there after work. But I grew up down there. See, I grew up within about a, a football field's walking distance from the lake. I was down there every day. I just didn't start fishing for catfish on purpose until I met Trevor. Oh. Good. These are people from the boat place. Look at this boat, y'all.
The only bad thing was we had no sail signal, so I couldn't talk to me itself. <laughs> it's a nice boat. It's a white boat, which I don't really like, but they tear up the shorelines. It's beautiful weather. It was like eighty six degrees here today. The weather was almost like the weather at home. Yeah, we missed seeing y'all over the weekend. I didn't really fish a whole lot. We went Saturday and fished a while. But I didn't go... Friday night because the wind was just terrible. And then um, Sunday, I felt terrible. So I didn't go. Everybody will probably get the notification about the live after it's over. Did y'all get it? Yeah, sure. No. But I didn't make up any of that pack bait or anything. I'm just fishing with the, the night crawlers I had yesterday and corn. But I was fishing at this uh, ramp that nobody was at. And it got really popular all of a sudden.
Okay. There you go. What's up, BFF? -F 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 -F? What's going on? Are you chumming the dog just to catfish rig with corn on it? Well, that's a smaller hook than what we normally catfish with, and it's not a circle hook. But all I've got to chum with is corn. Which I threw out yesterday without a whole lot of results. But I'm throwing out some more today. So we'll see. Randy just got home. Hi, Randy. Nightbot's having fun. Nightbot could probably fish better than me. I had, at this point, I'd be just about happy to catch a bluegill, honestly. That guy stepped over here next to me and threw in and caught a, a decent bass. I was like, well. Oh, my son wanted me to watch that with him. Fallout? I may watch it when I go home. He said it was good. This actually may be a pretty good spot to fish, even if I don't do well today. Corpus Christi, it's 81. It is a good show. Okay, I know it's a video game that my son plays, but... Are there any other lives going on? I don't want to. The cart bat should really start getting good soon. My buddy caught a 30 pound buffalo yesterday, as well as a 21 pounder, and then like a four pound channel cat. I don't play video games, but I like the show. Yeah. Uh, I talked to Cass Blast Camp, and he said that that pond I was at yesterday, except I was fishing on the other side. I don't know if that matters. They should be on both sides. But that pond I was fishing at yesterday, he's caught like an eight-pound one and some six- and seven-pound ones. So, I mean, like, there's carp in there. I used to catch carp by accident as a kid. Now that I really want to catch one, I can't. It's kind of messed up. I hooked into a big one as a kid. And it got to the top of the water and broke the line. But we only fished for like panfish and stuff when I was a kid growing up down there. The buffalo are up in the city cover here, brother. Thousands are. Is it? Are they doing the buffalo run now? <coughs> I didn't know if that was right now. I thought it passed already. Thought they already run up in there. What's up, Gerald? Day number two. I may go fishing every day till I catch one. Y'all may get tired of seeing me. Or I may not go live, I may just go fishing. <laughs> you 
do it on Tribe's box, so I have no idea. <coughs> We're going to a flathead spot tomorrow for the show. <coughs> Dang it. Let me go over here and get my drink. I think I have some allergies. I'm on Teleco, Lisa. And Bonor. It's a city park down here. This ain't a pond, though. This is Teleco Lake. <coughs> Y'all can't hear the wind, can you? Randy saw peaks yesterday of them. Sorry you're in pain, Gerald. I hope you can get ahead of it. It is a beautiful lake. Yeah, he played trivia earlier. I got in right at the last of it. I pop in and out at work, but... Crap. I got hung up and broke off. Yeah, I was hung. Nope. There was a guy stepped out here, though, and threw in with a worm and caught a bass, like a rubber worm. And there was a boat on the ramp. Yeah, it was fine till I got out of here in it. <coughs> Apparently, I'm not loving the calling. Then South is either being quiet, which is not likely, or he's on a date. 
He's probably in another lab somewhere. It's finally getting nice weather here. I just can't stand to be in the house, to be honest. <laughs> what are you doing being so quiet, Mid Cell? Oh, I believe I caught something. <laughs> caught a fish, y'all. <laughs> Busy saving money for a house. Well, look. <laughs> I caught a fish. I caught a fish. I caught a fish. Backup bot here or Sandy? I got a fish. <laughs> it's a sunfish. All right, calm yourself down. Why'd you have to swallow the hook? Well, you know, it's not my target species, but it's, I'm okay on it. It's not a skunk. Lately, it's been rough eating kitchen bream or bluegill. Come on, come out of there. <laughs> Said no man ever. Mid south. Come on. I don't want to I don't want to kill you. Okay.
Đúng không? Yeah, I'm fishing next to boat ramp. Put it out for bait. I've got white bass on a hook. I just don't have a uh, big hooks. I think the turtles are in here eating this corn. Sandy let that fish go like she was pushing a puppy out the door to go potty. He was out of the water a few minutes. They're too small to put a bluegill on for bait mid south. <laughs> I'd love to put some live bait out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you carry a variety of hooks just in case. Small hooks, but you have your rod holders today. You can't have everything. So now look. <clears throat> Let me show you. I have my bag that I won from Hitch by Hitch in Mo Dog's Life. <clears throat> I have pre tied stuff. I might try the pre tied stuff. Giant hooks, a spook, weights, swivels, sinker slide. Yeah. <clears throat> Do I want to tie one of them big hooks? That's right, to tie one of them big hooks on the tiger rod. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Welcome in. Um, I also have my carp stuff. I have uh, hair rigs and the little uh, method feeders, but I don't have any pack bait for the method feeders. I'm not real sure how to tie the hair rigs on. I'm new to new to carp fishing. I need a sensei.
The rod holder, yeah. We actually made that for somebody that but that's not mine, but it's just like mine and we signed it. They wanted it signed, but <clears throat> shipping. I'm still not real sure shipping on it. It was wrapped up to getting ready it was ready to ship out. I unwrapped it. So <clears throat> those are the ones Travis makes. I was worried about getting hung up a lot here because it was rocked in. We, we did not catch any catfish last night. Travis caught a couple little um, brim. I'm not sure there is catfish in Cove Lake. And there's just little channel cats in that lake I was in. And it didn't go very far out. Every time I try to type je hello, auto correct says jello. Hey, Kevin Fishes. What's up? We're going to try to catch some uh, flatheads tomorrow night. We should catch some catfish tomorrow night for sure. The regular show. We'll be out there at six, ready to go. Better poles and everything. What's up, Kevin? Heard the skipjack were hitting good again up there.
I hadn't seen you live in a minute, though. Maybe I've just been missing you. Hanging out this evening and haven't been live much lately. I've been live more than usual this week. <laughs> I'm trying to, really trying to catch a carp. I just really don't know what I'm doing. I'd like to come up there and get on some of them skip, Jay. They're still weird down here. The lakes are all up. This one looks pretty high, but the lakes are all up within two foot of the uh, summer pool. Weather for ho. Who did that? Been too nice. Been coming home and working on stuff around the house instead of fishing. I get that. You said weather and home. Skips were so. Hey, Mo Dog. I don't know what I'm doing when I'm fishing for anything. Somebody just caught a, I mean, like a few minutes ago, caught a bass right here beside the boat ramp. What's up, Mo Dog? Do you know if you're going to have a live Thursday? I have a video that I made just for you. No music. Well, everybody's seen it. A lot of people have seen it, but. Okay. I was going to arrange it with Travis uh, Thursday to come in and fight over you, but. I got to do it now. I'll have to do it this Thursday. The surprise is gone, I know, but yeah, we're going to come in and fight over you. You said you wanted somebody to fight over you, so we're going to do it. <clears throat> well, I chummed the hell out of the water and uh, threw that in real close to, I mean, fairly close to the bank, so we'll see. Got to get these burgers off the grill. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. What's up, Tony? He's not in here. Somebody's fooling with me. Unless you're talking to Yakety Yak. Come on, fish. Surprise me. I really would like to catch one of you guys. Come on, fish. Sun's going down. Man, yeah. Anthony, in south. You know, Anthony, I was talking to Travis about subjects that we could talk about. And I've decided we're boring. We're basic. We basic fish. Just do simple rigs. And we're pretty boring. I don't know what you can get out of that. It doesn't, doesn't make for a good podcast. Scotty. What's up, Scotty? Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. You've been in here for 10 seconds, and I've already said hi. 
You've been sick and trying to get this motor done, and the weather has sucked. An excuse, excuse, excuse. I haven't been fishing since the last tournament. Well, sometimes it's like that. Do it when you can. You've got little ones. It's real hard to do. I didn't fish for years when my kids were little. It's too hard. I about forgot how much I, I loved it. And then after uh, I bass fish and bass fish, and then after the guy that I was with then that I bass fish with died, I didn't fish for three years. So I'm back. I'm back though. Come on, fish. They're talking to Anthony J all day. Anthony's not in here. Mr. Rogers said, okay, dinner's done and back. Mr. Rogers, I have thrown this little area here. I've thrown out corn. I've got corn on that hook that's in the I broke off the other pole and I don't want to try to I can't hardly see the snail. I realize it's easy. I just need to practice. Somebody's come down here to go catfishing. You've been here for 10 minutes? Well, dang. You know how they mess with you, Mo Dog? Well, they mess with me by saying that people are in here that aren't. Really? I can't see you, Anthony. Or Tony. Tony isn't here. Okay. See how they're messing with me? I'm glad you said that, Drew. Sounds like somebody's been pulling some funny business and hiding people on my channel. Y'all are turds. Y'all are turds. Mean. Need to catch big bass. Hashtag I need to catch big bass like Mo Dog. I'm about ready to start trying to... Well, I was throwing a rooster tail in here a few minutes ago. Okay, I caught a, I caught a little sunfish. That's it. Little turds. I haven't caught any bass for around a month, my dog said. If I leave you some tide rigs with Lisa, you, could you get them later? Yeah, probably. We don't see each other hardly, but maybe uh, one time when we're down there, we can either go to them or they can come to us. We're going to be on... Bill's Chapel tomorrow. Must have caught the big ones already. I tell him that dog went so good swim. I was scared. Look, beautiful, you get that old. Come here. Come here. Fish for hind seagull and you'll catch lots of fish. <laughs> he tell him you just did a live today.
Yeah. It's out your turn. Seal fishes behind me and then leaves. <laughs> They're about to go catfishing. Look at her. Tony's not going to the gathering. <laughs> you had a blast fishing with Tony and Kevin. Looks like y'all had fun. Y'all do pretty good catfishing around here. Y'all do pretty good catfishing around here. No, it's hit or miss. We've been doing good recently. Oh, that's cool. Uh, hmm. Too many rocks here. They ain't carp fishing. Don't flourish. <laughs> Listen, I was asking about the fish. I don't care nothing about them. Traps don't fish on Telco. <laughs> and I don't catfish ass. I'm trying again for a uh, carp. Some cat fishermen just left here. This is day number two with nothing. You have more than nothing. You have me and Anthony. <laughs> well, you used to fish and telco a lot. Travis just says that the like I don't know. He talks about temperature. Being uh, different, they just don't think there's very much in the way of quality catfish here. Lonnie and Mark says there is, but you have to wait on them. I know it seems like I fish a lot, but I don't have a lot of time during each day. I caught a sunfish, Travis. That's it. It's pretty good size, though. Swallowed the hook. I had a terrible time getting it out without killing it. This boat ramp, I, I, you know, thought it might be okay to fish next to it. This thing has been humming. It's busy here. She caught a huge five-inch bluegill. 
It was about that big, maybe. Then they made fun of the way I released it. Did you, that there's a catfish boat just took off from here, looking like a porcupine. I asked him if they did good, and he said they've been doing here good, uh, pretty good here recently. This is opposite of what we've been doing. Maybe you'll get on some tonight. Mid South is a turd, Travis. You're dragging. I'm about to pack it up. I didn't 100% skunk, though, if you count uh, that little brim. Why are you saying Anthony? Travis, is Anthony in here? We had a tripod for sale a few weeks ago for ten dollars. No, they're not. Hey, Steve from Wyoming. Oh, thank you, Mo. He's not in here. Mid South is messing with me for some reason. <laughs> See, isn't it pretty? Man, this place. I may have to give up on carp. I really kind of want to catch one. They act like they're easy to catch, but not so much. Not as pretty as the view behind the camera. <laughs> mess with me, mess with me, and then sweet talk me. Mid south. Your butt. But thank you. <laughs> that is how you talk to women, Mid South. I like it much better. They do take a while. Okay. Well, I threw a bunch of corn out there. I broke off the other tiger rod. Broke the hook off. <laughs> How did you find out? What do you mean you found out where the carp are? There's are singleton there, aren't they? <laughs> What's up, Jake from State Farm? Now they're acting like Earl's here. Y'all are turns. Okay. Uh, I'm going back. Oh, Mo Dog, not as pretty as the view behind the camera. Well, thank you, Mo Dog. Mo Dog, Mid South.
the whole chat is talking to people that ain't thirty. You think yours is bad, Mo Dog? No. At least they talk to each other. They don't talk to people that aren't there. I got a whole chat room full of schizophrenics. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I've been calling them turds. He's not carp fishing. He's dragging baits for uh, catfish. Mr. Rogers caught a big carp. He had a short Travis dragging for a carp. You leaving, Jake, from State Farm? Gigability. Huh? I think Cindy is losing her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, so mean. Steve from Wyoming, let's talk about the reef rubber, LOL. Modog said, nope, not the same. A mid south is always talking to people that think want to talk to him. That's the same thing, isn't it? Well, I appreciate your kind words, Mo Dog. Hey, Travis. Thursday, we have to go in and fight over uh, Mo Dog and Crystal. Look from Outdoor Boys. Hashtag, this is enough to do that. Yes. Troy said Reef Robber is awesome. I nope, just felt like saying that. Hey, I'm and stuff. <laughs> Y'all are trying to make me lose my mind. Mid South has gotten mean. I should have known he didn't say that. I thought he was messing with me by saying that. Hey, Mike Young. Welcome in. Earl was live last night. You like seeing Earl? Must need glasses. <laughs> Hunting stuff is here. <laughs> But Dale is not. <laughs> You're fixing to graduate from turds straight up to asses. <laughs> no. Mean. Now, baits out there flipping. <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> Scotty, he's not here. No, Tony's not in here. Neither is Dale or Earl. I caught a little sunfish or bluegill, it's brim, whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> they got me messed up in chat. They're huge. There were seven of them. They were huge. <laughs> I said that in the chat today and they didn't know what I was talking about. There were seven of them. They caught seven. They were huge. Is 
Is everybody some daughter cat? So, um, I am not reading anything. <laughs> I'm not reading anything that I think is <laughs> y'all are making up. <laughs> I'm not reading that mess. Y'all are crazy. Crazy. It's not me that's crazy, it's y'all. No dog Dill is still mad that you made him look foolish, me and Sal said. I'm I'm so using the hound of that Cabela's bag. I want to, and I'm not, yes, I do want to read it. Because you know me, I have to read chat, and y'all are messing me up. <laughs> What's the matter with y'all? What's the matter with y'all? I am ignoring Dale. Hitch right here said, Dale, she's ignoring you. She can't see some of the people in the chat. It must be a stream yard issue. It must be. Jake really is in here, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> I, half my chat is real and half is imaginary. I really have like 29 people in here. Steve said, Jake, you said later, guys. So I thought you were leaving. Yeah, he just, uh, he just did it to be funny. Tony! I'm going to just go along with you. If you can't beat him, join him. And Capsdale. Oh, I still don't have any off. I've got to get some off. Skeeters are trying to eat me again. Yes, yeah, still refresh your phone, my dog said. I'm glad all my favorite people are in here, whether I can see them or not. It's great. Gerald said, I'm beyond confused, Cindy. They're mad. No, well, let's not do that. Who said that? Mid South, I'm about to kick you out of here. That you notice that don't happen. Anyway, Gerald, they're messing with me. They're acting like people are in here that aren't normal or regular people like Dale and Tony. They're just acting, they're talking to them. If you come in Mo Dogs, you'll understand that they do. we do as a chat. And I'm guilty. And I think it's actually funny what they're doing tonight. Because you know. But uh, we do crazy stuff. Sometimes we talk all, we hashtag everything we say in Mo Dogs. Or we just put random stuff in there so it gets so far behind. He has no hope of catching up without skipping over a bunch of stuff. We'll put in numbers. and. Just letters, A, B, C, Ds, and stuff. Yeah, they're just, they're being my normal chat. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> so I'm going to go along with them now. Scotty said, Tony, are we still going to the fishing cape in a few weeks? Yes. I'll, I'll chat with the people that aren't there. I don't care. Hashtag why? Why? But why? Mitzel said, Mrs. M, it's so good to see you. Long time no see. Yeah. Hashtag why? Kick Billy said, I'm going to go along with them now. Judy Booty. <laughs> Ain't no TVA. There he is. You rang, he said. <laughs> Tony, 
I mean, we've been talking to you for the past 10 minutes because whether you knew it or not, you were here. <laughs> I have the best chat. Y'all are so funny. I mean, like, it'd be the coolest thing to, like, sit around the fire with you guys. If you call them, they'll come. You got a dink 10-pounder? What's up, Captain Morgan, even if you aren't here? Yep, if you call them, they come. I'd like to get a dink 10 pounder. Tommy said, I just woke up. Prove it, Travis. This is the life of dreams, Mo Dog said. Shit, that means I've conjured up Camp Fish Dave. I mean, we could probably get him. Cat Morgan is probably sitting on his couch. Him and Randy went skipjack fishing. <laughs> What's up, Lonnie? Got to get a fire going. Let's get it. No. No. <laughs> You're trying to conjure up Sandy now. Hitch by hitch. I told you not to start picking on Tony's stuff. Shadow Knight will have a video coming out for tonight. Cool. Hey, Travis, I found that rebar that was with that rod holder. <laughs> I guess I'm buying a new PC. been trying to edit this video for two hours, and it keeps crashing. Travis, I saw a vid where he was below Lousy Dan. If we don't catch nothing on Fort Loudon tomorrow, I'm not going back there for a while. This is the first time I've really done any kind of real fishing on, which if you want to call this real fishing on Fort, I mean, on a teleco. Since you're conjuring top with Sandy, hello. <laughs>
Oops. It don't make sense why she can't see everyone, maybe because it's so dark. I sure hope Cindy's streamer is <laughs> Chad Birkin. <laughs> Del, I think she's mad that Lisa loved you so much. Moi? I think she must have muted you on her end probably because you kept calling her number two catfish. I mean, I'm 1A. 1A. I was getting this stuff ready. I know y'all couldn't see me, but... That is balling round, you would lose. Well, I caught a fish on Telco. Even if it was a bluegill brim. It was the biggest one of those I've caught in a long time. I think struggling to get up the ramp. I gotta get my keys. Had to put that sucker in full wheel drive. Cindy is Travisless. Damn man. Hey, Curtis. Y'all see the UFO?
Okay. Made it back to the car. Just a Chinese balloon. Travis is trying to come up now. The things in chat. I can drop the link. I don't know if he'll come up. He's on that Cadillac. Cadillac of catfish boats. It is the ultimate catfish boat. We ought to actually come up and show you guys. Yes, definitely show me. What's up, Earl? Earl has crabs. What am I driving? It is a Chevy Cruze. A Chevy Cruze. It needs a bath real bad. I need to wash it. Actually, I need to get rid of this car. That's no good. Not a flathead here, just a jar head. We shot one of those balloons up here at your work. Really? I haven't had any coolant leaks with this one, car. What did we replace? On the Sonic, uh, I had a Chevy Sonic that I did. I had to replace some stuff because it was a coolant leak. This one, we've replaced the, uh, the head gasket. And then it's using oil somehow, somewhere. I have no idea where, but it is. Holy moly, you lucky. I need to get rid of this car, though. It's got, it's making a noise in the front end. And it does, it has an evap. You have evap problems with them? Because it's throwing a code and it says it's a, a small, leak but like every hundred miles i have to turn that code off or it runs rough as long as the code's not up it doesn't run rough it's not but it's got some universal joint or something popping in the front end so that's being a pain I'd like to have a car that don't give me too many problems. And but that's my bad stuff. Evap code, gas cap, or the purge valve solenoid under the hood, most likely culprits. What is the purge valve? There's a thing on top of the. I really enjoyed you did that in my scale. He's a senior older. <laughs> Is 
is this the dog place or the duck place? Uh, hitch by hitch. This is a new place. I've never been here before today. It's in a little town called Bonor, which is the next town over from mine. And it's on Teleco Lake, which me and Travis never fish because he doesn't like Teleco Lake. So it was neither. All customers with Chevy Cruiser Sonics get rid of them because they get fed up with coolant leaks one after the other. Well, my Sonic, it was a pain in the butt. And, I, and honestly, I hit a deer with it and totaled it. But I'd already hit a hog with it and had to replace it on the interstate. And had to replace the front end. Then I hit that deer and wiped it out. But I was glad to get rid of the Sonic. But used car prices are crazy. If it's not one of those two. Uh, it looks to me like the gas cap has already been replaced, but I was thinking about just trying a new gas cap and seeing. It's blowing up Hitch, his video, his latest video. Going viral. Ninety percent of cars. Good night, Troy. Ninety percent of carbon have EVET fault codes in their fine. Yeah, I just turned it off. What's up, Bobby? Two thousand ten Chevy vans. Two thousand two hundred thousand miles. I want seven thousand. They're nuts. That's the way it is. It's crazy. Hey, bug man. That's it. Mine just, uh, we had to replace, I think, the thermostat housing. And that stopped the water leak, or the, yeah, the water leak problem. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Stop at Sons and grab you drinking some chips, Cindy. <laughs> you know a little bit about Von Orr, huh? Any opinion on the Nissan Titan? I like Toyotas and Nissans. I actually had went and looked, but it, they wanted like $19,000 for 2019 Ultima. But I didn't want a car payment, and it looks like I'm going to end up with one anyway. Chinese drive until they explode. 
I'm good if you get to come into this. All right, folks. This is it. We will see you guys tomorrow night at six. Please come, everybody. Nissan Road. Yeah, you never hear anything bad about the Nissan or Toyota. Oh, look at Savage Kid. I should have come up here while it was still daylight and showed y'all around. It's pretty cool. Can't believe Honor has something this nice. And it wasn't all trashed out either. There wasn't a bunch of garbage down there to pick up. Seven. They were huge. No, I only caught like a little uh, brim. Don't forget your pet flathead challenge tomorrow at six at five. Yeah, see y'all. I'm still not giving up on the uh, carp thing, but so far it's been a challenge. But anything new you do is going to be something until you learn it. So. Nissan's Nissan transmissions can go out at sixty thousand. Good night, Earl. Good night, Dale. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Mid South. Good night, Otter Cat. Good night, Reef Rubber. Good night, Michelle Mason. Good night, Tony. Good night, Mo Dog. Did I say Dale? Good night, Dale. Reef is going live? Okay, we'll we'll tune in to Reef's live, which I don't know if he is or not, but we'll see. Good night, Shoreline. Good night, Jake from State Farm. Good night, Curtis. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Randy. Did I forget anybody? Good night, Otter Cat. Here's a tuck in and a kiss on the forehead. I said Mo Dog. Mid South. Good night, Mid South. Good night, Broke Bag Bob. Hello and goodbye. Y'all are amazing. Yes, I already said good night to John Boy and Mary Ellen and Jim Bob and Elizabeth and Grandma and Grandpa. Otter Cat, yes, you are. You're, yeah, you're just amazing. It's all that content. I was like appreciating all the content. I didn't forget you, Jake from State Farm. Remember me saying Jake from State Farm? But I'll call you Hitch by Hitch and Jake. Scotty, good night, Scotty. Hashtag Cindy Rocks. Have you Adriana Alvera? Probably. Come in a few times though. Hang out with us. Talk with us. Watch us fish. Carry on some craziness like we do. And I'll throw you a wrench. Ask anybody. I give them out pretty easy. But I can't uh, do it while I'm live. I have to do it after it's over. Yeah, we're all a bunch of friends. You need to join the club. <laughs> it's a good bunch. I have the best chat in the whole world. You've been here, but Mid-South has you blocked. <laughs> yeah, come back and watch us sometime. Mid-South said, yes, Cindy is easy. Apparently not easy enough for Mid-South, though. All right. 
Yeah, come back and see us, Elvira. You'll have fun, I promise. And then South is handsome, even. And he will flirt with you. Cindy after dark. I can't believe y'all didn't go there. Rogueback Bob said, being blue isn't all it's cut up to be. Well, you can sub to each other. You never flirt. But just, I mean, everybody in this chat is repeat people. I mean, will they all come back? And I, I'm so grateful for that. I like new people, though. I'm always welcoming new people. Curtis said, I didn't know it was dark. I was inside working. Look, it's so dark. It is so past Cindy after dark. Y'all are just keeping me talking so I don't close it down. So I don't shut down the live. <laughs> you were listening to not watching. <laughs> And the stuff said if sex with two people is a twosome and sex with three people is a threesome, then we know why Mid South is called handsome. <laughs> What's the question, Jake? Oh, I gotta put out a thumbnail for the giveaway. Shoot, when am I gonna have time to do that? <laughs> ah, that was good. Fuck back, Bob. It is dark. So, R. You are we you? Oh God! So are you single? <laughs> Man, don't stop going. <laughs> Y'all are asses. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> I can't even read them all. Yeah, I'm driving home now. I can buy my way out of here. My car window's dirty. Yes. Now. Good night, Bone Dog and Crystal. <laughs> hey, y'all would be good at that game where you add one, where each person adds a word and makes a story. That's cool. A little over painting walls. And flags. This place is kind of cool. Otter Cat's getting car sick. Close your eyes, Otter Cat. I don't really know my way out of here. I got five more minutes out of me. Well, <laughs> nice. <laughs> My 
motion C, Miss D, a motion C. It looks crooked, but y'all are straight. It says it doesn't have a... I'm starting a new side for photos of rose bushes. It's called a thorn <laughs> <laughs> okay, gotta go. I said that he gets five more minutes of me. Here, new site for tips only plans. Sillies. You guys are crazy. All right, guys. I'm shutting her down. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Make sure you come into my live. Y'all make it a whole lot easier to wait on them flagpoles. <laughs> Hopefully she has a set of her stickers with her in case of popo gives her. There ain't no popo down here. I got a question. I have. Have you ever hated <laughs> pleasure? Oh my god. Have you ever so much.
much crazy BS. Five more. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Crazy, crazy. Thank God. <laughs> spent that whole five minutes talking to me and you have been talking to the people in chat i assume that's uh but oh it was hilarious five minutes i can't believe it <laughs> somebody else start one milky earl what size is your boat i got a question okay cindy got to go all right Jake. Oh, I got that scale today, so it's all set for the giveaway, too. And I've, I've got to put out the thumbnail. I'll probably have to do that. I don't know. I might have time tonight. It was a group effort. Well, it connects easy to a houseboat easily. Are you still has both shop in mid south? Y'all see me blowing to them stop signs, straight in the curves. Con concert connect or concert their mid south. Oh, they're my frog. I didn't squish grumpy. Covert. Cat, okay, you're right. These other folks are nuts. Cray cray. You and me are the only sane ones. And we hang out with them, so I don't know what that says about us. Feels like a roller coaster ride. A bug hit the wind, hit my windshield. The last thing that went through my mind was its ass. Have you seen the otter's video? Roadbag Bob, me and you and Otter Care are the only normal ones in here, but we hang out with these other people, so what does that make us? <laughs> Scotty's still doing the Anthony J. Are you guys going to go home with me? Fools. Crazy.
know so normal. One time, <laughs> you're going to go shower with me? That's on the list. Straighten the curves. Flatten the hills. Someday the mountain will get up. <laughs> hey, you have a question, Jake? You have a question? Take your home yard, honey. Kids. I know that's what you're going to say. Crazy. Okay, gotta go. Later, hit. Later, hit. Jake, State, State Farm. Gotta go. That's what I said, but look, we're still here. Still here. I'm almost up. Nine backseat drivers, I know it. It's like a roller coaster car. The cool thing about it is I'm the driver. <laughs> We're going on a trip in your favorite rocket ship. <laughs> I'm 
taking y'all home with me. Forward. They tried conjuring you up earlier, Sandy. Do you want to go get gas? Too bad. If you don't, you won't. What's up, Dale? They tried conjuring you up earlier, too. Sandy's been working. Did you get timed out, Mr. Rogers? Zooming through the skies. God, my window was dirty. It's covered in palms. So bad. Just started, sicko. <laughs> We're still alive. I've already got to wash the pollen off my car. Seagull <laughs> said, Jake, why did you say it started two hours ago? Because it did. <laughs> Dang it, this was my go to place because gas was two dollars and ninety nine cents a gallon. That's gone up to three oh nine. Seven, they're huge. Caught some June bugs on the windshield. My whole car is dirty. It needs a bath so bad. It was a softball night. Couldn't leave a no hitter. I call a uh, I'm not washing that window. Unless I'm in the light like that, you can't see it. I caught a uh, brim bluegill thing. It really was big. 309 is the cheapest, yeah. Hey, Hunter. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the cheapest there is around here. This gas station always has the cheapest gas. That's why when I saw it open, I was like, I got a stuffing deep gas. It cost me 30 bucks and I wasn't even on ease.
Just a random guy and not a, all his names into the 26. Some guy is a. Uh, Mikasa. Cindy was going to leave when we stopped her. Some coffee, whole chicken, wet cat food, and dry dog food while you're there. There's my baby. Can y'all see my puppy? That damn fishing guy, hey? You have a question? <laughs> Did I miss all the fun? I think it's a ferocious attack, dog. Wait till you guys get a load of this. She likes to bark. Um what I was really going after, but oh no, no, I'm dropping stuff, which is about normal. Come on, Ellie. Attack dog on duty. Look at my baby. You guys know what that is? Besides to eat your dog. What's up, Billy? What's up, Billy? Girl. That is a Pomeranian. A black Pomeranian. It's a black Pomeranian. It's a black palm that has vitiligo. Oh, thank you guys. I'm not, I'm not trying to call you out. Or she has the Michael Jackson disease thing. Where different colors. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Billy? Come here. What you doing? What you doing, baby? Hey, Ellie. Ellie. She used to be black all over, head to toe. And the more time goes on, the more white she becomes. She is beautiful. Her vet's like, they put her picture in the, um, it's gonna, sorry, it's gonna come porch. they put a picture in her file and showed up a bunch of people, showed everybody because she's so unique. 
Dogs do get vitiligo. What's he doing, Illy? Cutting your legs. Hey, what's he doing? Panda Fox Coon Dog Cat. <laughs> You want a treat? You want a treat? That is the funniest looking pup. Yep. Um, she's like, I think she's born in 2013. She's nine years, eight or nine years old. Come on. Yeah, she thinks she's something. My cats aren't in here. But. Excuse my dirty house. But. I have a uh, ferret runner in here somewhere. But. So. Now I'm really going to go. Girl boo. My house is very lived in. So anyway, got to go. It's time for the shower and to get ready for work tomorrow, whether I want to or not. All right. See you guys. Troublemakers. <laughs>